Well, as an American, I, I can definitely relate with uh, the animosity about statues and what they all stand for. When you look at the Confederate statues and mm -hmm. what we've done to them and how we've decimated them, got rid of them, and I think that's a great idea. What I think is that, uh, well, that happened, so that's in history. And I, I don't think these statues should be celebrated, but I think that they should be put in a museum where people can learn about the history and like put these statues in a place where people can teach themselves about the history, mm -hmm. but not here. Don't celebrate this. I think that's a great analogy. I, I, I like that I too. really like that. I had a similar conversation with a group of people in uh, my old neighborhood in Amsterdam, which is De Barsches, and all the streets are named after explorers like James Cook and um, Admiral de Rauterweg, like all these big things. And some people, if you go to these streets, they have massive plaques with a picture of the person, almost like a statue explaining their story. And some people were saying, well, maybe the city needs to change the names of these streets. And many people mm -hmm. were like, oh, well, it's always been this way. Why would we change it? And I said, would you put the name of a, of a well-known modern human trafficker on the mm -hmm. side of your street and want right. to live there? Right. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, oh, okay, we understand now. Right now, we're talking a lot about the, the results of the colonial era. What, how much stuff do we do because some dead person wanted it? You know, like yeah. uh, in the States, we talk all the time about what the founding, the founding fathers, fathers wanted. wanted. Who gives a shit what, what yeah. they wanted? They died yeah, hundreds of years ago. Time Why do change. we keep caring yeah. about what they wanted?